I concede our party is not for the kind of cocaine-fueled orgies that a freshman Republican representative bragged about. Do you know that 150 million Americans have used marijuana? Half of the country, and that's just the people who are being honest about it, half of the country has used marijuana, but you can still be denied security clearance and government employment for having once used marijuana. That is plainly stupid and wrong and unfair. You know, the longer I spend time in Congress, Mr. Speaker, the more I realize that in America, change comes from the states. It comes from the people. That's how, how we got child labor laws. That's how we got women's suffrage. That's how we got direct election of U.S. senators. And now so too with our draconian, obsolete, and failed marijuana laws. Look what's happening out in America. 18 states plus Washington, D.C. have now passed laws allowing adult use of marijuana. In other words, they've accepted the anti-prohibition principle that's in our Constitution. In 27 states, it's been decriminalized. In a majority of the states, it's no longer criminal. And in 36 states, the vast majority of America, more than two-thirds of the states, uh, medical use of marijuana has been approved. In other words, it is legal in the vast majority of states of the country to use marijuana for medicinal purposes. What a massive outbreak of common sense in America against the GOP's failed authoritarian war on marijuana that depends on paranoid tropes from the 1970s. It's like they saw reefer madness in middle school and never got over it. I concede our party is not for the kind of cocaine-fueled orgies that a freshman Republican representative bragged about this week, but we do understand that their marijuana prohibition laws don't work for our people. But in any event, Mr. Speaker, we can all agree that we should not be denying our constituents the opportunity to serve in federal office by denying them security clearance simply because they've used marijuana. I reserve.